What's up guys? If you're new to the channel, my name is Mark and I started this channel because I had a spinal fusion L4, L5 back in late 2020. I'm now three years post-op, I'm doing great. The reason I'm making this video today is to share five tips with you to hopefully eliminate a chronic back pain or at least help with chronic back pain, especially if it's caused by disc issues. So if you stick with me for about the next five to six minutes, I'm gonna give you some basic tips that if you follow these every day, it should help uh, hopefully eliminate your, your chronic back pain. And again, I'm not a doctor. This is stuff that I use to help me through my back pain. So thanks for watching. Tip one for eliminating chronic back pain is natural decompression. What I like to do is dead hangs, hang from a pull-up bar, pull as much weight off the ground as you can for about 30 seconds or as long as you feel necessary. You will feel the decompression in your lumbar and you may hear popping. I hear popping every single time. Um, you can change your hand positioning, whatever may help. Here you're seeing an offset hand grip. And then I'm gonna show you a wide grip here. It's basically whatever's the most effective for you to gain that space in your lumbar so you can feel the decompression and you can feel the, um, the relief of pain. Second is a self-suspension. You can see I'm doing it here on the uh, bench press. Basically what I'm doing is just pushing my body up, letting my feet hang. I'll do the same thing over here on the Peloton to show you on a kind of a different surface how you can do it. But you can do this on a table, countertop, chair, a dip bar, whatever's sturdy enough to hold you. Do 30 seconds or as long as necessary. Tip two, stretching. What you'll see here is I'm focusing on my hamstrings. Uh, the ladder's out. I was already using the ladder for a few things in my garage. But it does work nicely for different uh, levels in order to put your foot to stretch your hamstring. So when I'm stretching for chronic back pain, I'm focusing a lot on my hamstrings. And that includes trying to hit them from different angles. And of course, you got to get both sides. You may experience one side is tighter than the other side. Go about 30 seconds per hamstring and then move on to the quads. For me, the quads aren't as important as the hamstrings for back pain, but I feel like you need to stretch everything, like you see the, me stretching the groin here, because one tight muscle can pull on another muscle, and that can pull your back out of whack. So my stretch is focus on the hamstrings, but you want to hit all the muscles in your legs and your entire pelvic region. Uh, I'm not going to go through every stretch here. This is just a basic tip. You need to stretch, and you need to stretch your hamstrings. Um, obviously you can stretch your upper body as well. Don't forget that. But for me, the most important things for, avo for avoiding chronic back pain are my hamstrings. Tip three, use temperature to your advantage. One thing I like to do is the cold plunge. And what this does for me is it is temporary pain relief. Uh, it does help with recovery from workouts and your mental toughness. I mean, the water is cold and you got to stand in there for, or sit in there for three to six minutes uh, it definitely improves your mood after you're forced to meditate while you're in there and, and it improves your attitude as well. Once you hop out of the cold tub for the next couple hours, you're going to be focused on your day. You're not even going to feel the pain. Uh, it's, it's something that I would, I would try to add to your repertoire. You don't have to go out and buy a tub like this. You can put cold water in your bathtub and do the exact same thing. This for me is more convenient in my gym, less mess. It works for me. Next, Use a sauna. The sauna helps with blood flow. The sauna helps with your recovery. There are so many benefits for a sauna. And of course, you know the impacts of heat on an area that is healing. So I recommend the sauna to remove toxins, improve your sleep, and improve your mood, kind of like the cold tub. And of course, there are the staples, um, heating pads, and ice packs. Use them when necessary. Tip four, walking. This may seem like the easiest, most basic thing, but you have to make time for it. You need to walk every day. You need to have a goal, whether it's 5,000, 10,000 steps. Figure out what you're doing now on a daily basis and try to improve that. Because while you're walking, blood is flow flowing throughout your entire body. If you're just sitting down somewhere, it's not. You're not getting blood where you need it, and that may hinder your healing process. So take a scenic walk. Walk your dog. Walk with family members. 
just do what you got to do to get outside and get the blood flowing. That should help you with your pain and your healing. Tip five, find a movement science program. This will help you correct imbalances. It will help you fix your posture, um, create space in your joints, and really just get your whole body aligned. What I did was I got a movement assessment. Uh, they did it in slow motion, and the company was able to prescribe exercises for me five to 10 minutes a day that really realigned my body and helped me feel so much better while I'm walking, moving, while I'm doing anything. That company was called Move Pain Free. Listen, you don't have to go with this company, but what you need to do is get yourself a slow motion assessment and see what you may be lacking, whether that be space in the joints, tension, whatever it may be to get your body fixed and help you feel so much better just doing everyday activities.